I suffer so long that I built a home. They tap at the windows and think they were bones. Lay hands on the bricks and then I swear from inside I could feel it. Now here you are with your mallet and light out of your own house. You think it's all right? Don't touch my windows, my bricks or my rules. I won't hear it. Open the door. How do I know? Stillness means end, or is danger just slow? I do not trust you, don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called for help. Can't tell the difference on unsteady floor. Will I be rewarded or lose even more? Safety in numbers, but I never said I was ready. Open the door. What if we fight? One was enough. Now we should have stayed blind. I do not trust you. Don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called for help. I called for Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Graffiti rock looks so naked. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. Last time I saw you this mad was when you dropped your phone in the Lake Champlain. Lost all my best picks. <laughs> I heard about what happened. Hang in there. Fucking crazy. You know? Here of all places. Maya Okada. You and Safi were pretty was. close, Maybe huh? Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi, too. She was the best friend I've had in a long time. Legend Shit. says that if you give Facebox Man a I can't even imagine. You get seven years of good luck. Two of you always seemed like you were having a blast together. What's on your mind? The 
thing is, Thomas, pondering what might be will drive you insane. Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Sophie. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. But seems like it's there's a butt coming. Sophie now. I mean, I, I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. It's just. Kind of seems so like scary, the whole campus is. You know. It's exactly why I'm here. To help everyone feel safe. I missed you in workshop last week. You know what I think would actually help a lot? Try not to take it personally. Yeah, if we all just you knew saw a my bit last shoot. About what's going on. It was dog shit. It was rough. But Sorry. it was honest. I'm not at liberty to discuss any facts of the case. You're a natural. Of course. Whether you I like it totally or not. Understand. Is there anything that you can you so? tell us? A graduate student was found dead on campus. Shit. The circumstances of her death require further investigation. I've never been a natural before. That's really all I can say. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still Have need to meet with you. Can't put it something. off forever. Seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Doesn't look like oh, she's getting the scoop she wanted. Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. You know, Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Shit's all yours if I you have want it. Plan. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. I shouldn't keep Aren't Yasmin you waiting too long. Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. These damn things are all over campus. Whatever the hell that means. Except where Safi actually needed one. You want to give it a shot? I'll head over to admin to see Yasmin soon. This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? I can't be late to see oh, as me if I never that. gave her a time. You don't, I guess. But it's Maybe down to Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that? I'll bet they've got quite an eye it? for photography. Three of them, even. Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah. Why? Amazing. What are you thinking? Like most places, Sir. Lakeport is a lot more complicated than it appears. No shit. <laughs> Don't you think they should have told us something by now? About the murder? Whoa. Who said anything about murder? The email said there was a death. And? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really? Hi. Good riddance. One Earl Grey, please. Sure thing. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I haven't stayed in one place this long since. Well, it's been a while. I almost forgot what belonging feels like. And now, this. Now, Sophie. I should have known better than to hope things would be different. Sometimes, it feels like I'm cursed. How fast and far I run, the past is still gonna find me.
rage like a storm when the memory finds me. White lights from before, never too far behind me. No, you can't save it all, it will always remind me. Skycat attacks. Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. Yeah. Oh, I... I can't even look at this right now. My old stuff is just cringe. What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going? Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. Too little, too late. And I thought Amanda couldn't get any cuter. If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. Is that a penguin head in the spokes? Is that a penguin head in the spokes? Looking forward to being terrorized by Saint Nick's shriveled mutant sidekick. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. Thanks for nothing. Wow. Is this a student literary mag or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? Roses, huh? Must have been a pretty penny in the middle of Vermont winter. I guess Abraxas has some extra cash to throw around, with Krampus canceled. Obviously I get why, but I'm still bummed we're not doing Krampus on campus this year. It sounded like fun. 
You're only a freshman. I promise there will be more cram pie in your future. Assuming you stay on Finn's good side. <laughs> Vin loves me. Uh, Vin loves me, right? I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fai? If only. And for obvious reasons, now I don't think there will be. Speaking just for me, four-day work weeks, no classes on Fridays, it's a slam dunk. Maybe resubmit in the spring? I don't know. Dr. Fai- Maya Okada. Her name was on the plaque for that tree outside. I wonder who she was. These are all by current or former faculty? Now I feel like a slacker. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. It's fine, I guess, but what I really feel isn't meant for public consumption. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. Howdy, Vin. 
Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Listen. I'm... I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but... She was an amazing person, and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. This must have the package Ven was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha! Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> you're full of surprises. Gwen? All good? Uh... Max... I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? 
world champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Skinny and curved. That's actually kind of perfect. Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Actually, she said she had a finished book, and that a publisher had made an offer. Why? You're kidding! Oh, good for her. She must have been proud as hell. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes. Please, anything you learn. Yes. 
Goodbye. That was the Lakeport police chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. Yasmin was so proud of Safi. Signed Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible. But it's a good thing she kept her day job. No, it's an important- From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. We should set a time to do more thorough preparations as well. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. 
Safi was more than just a poet. I want people to remember that. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta, jeez, you scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not going to help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. <sighs> what a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I'm trying to figure out what happened to Sophie, and I wanted your help. Oh, <laughs> you're a gumshoe now. Detective Caulfield on the case. Give me a fucking break. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? I might as well pack it all in at once. Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now.
Thanks, sir. There May we all one day aspire to be as happy as a burgeoning goth kid with his first skull balloon. Not only does it look like Amanda, they even got her hair buns. She's probably lots of students' muse. start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting, but words, words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad Is today. Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up, or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. I pause. 
pause. This kid, I swear to God. Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? It's really nice to have something small to laugh at, actually. my breath. A receding shadow lurks in the per periphery, beyond the overgrown grass and the fallen bird's nest. It peels back the bitter cold, effacing. Maybe I should rub the toe for luck. Mine's been pretty shitty lately. Wild stirring arrhythmia. Morning is here at last. Jeez, Lucas. Your class must be freezing. Journal prescribed fire, volume 79. Max. Good to see you. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well, and What happened to her wasn't poetic. It was horrible. Someone did this to her. Everybody's talking about her like she had a heart attack or a car accident. But she was murdered. Someone murdered her. I don't know how we're expected to just be okay with that. Yeah! He 
enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. Acknowledge that much. Hold on. Let's not turn this into something it's not. I didn't know Safi well, but a woman of color, just like me, was murdered on campus. That's scary. That has a real impact. Diamond, please. It feels like everyone wants to act like Safi's death was this isolated tragedy. Nobody's fault. Let's just grieve and get back to work, right? It just feels so quintessentially Caledon to me. Nobody knows how to make you feel crazy for being concerned like this school. Okay, save it for Tumblr. This is supposed to be a tribute. In lieu of further comments, I'd like to read another piece. This is one she submitted to the Allegheny Writers Workshop. It's called Kerr. We gaze at one another. God, poor Diamond. I feel awful for Safi's students. Vibrate. It is flight or fight. Here Never if you need it. anything. We are taught to wait for the bell. To be Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? So, did it make you feel better? Shutting them up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. Y you know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. <laughs> hey. I have a question about Safi. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence. You know? Hey, Max. Yeah? I'm gonna use present tense. For just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just... A little longer. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactics. Moses?
It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color jack can beat any other with the right color. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? figure it out. Now that's the vulgar boulder I fell in love with. Where decorations? But all the holiday stuff was postponed until next week. You'll be missed dearly, Sophie. What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking you. It's time for Coco. Sophie? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating in teacher. I can't believe Max was standing me up. You were supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid to charge a little thing to a car. Oh my god, dude, go. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. Just hear me like I can hear her. Will you give me a break? I haven't done this supernatural bullshit since high school. It's not like riding a bike. Oh. 
Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. Freeze to death. 